It's day like five. Diving again. We're gonna go try to find some more crabs or fish or something for dinner. Oh, there's a lobster under there. What are two? One was huge. One was like this big. Four and a half miles. Here we go. We got enough fuel. <laughs> Should. We're taking the dinghy to Governor's Harbor. We're out of water and coffee. <laughs> Alright, come on. 
trying to put a shoe on with one hand is pretty difficult. Aha. What a dog! Good girl! Sierra's in the bakery just trying to get some fresh Bahamian bread. And I'm sure she's gonna come out with some sweets too. Me and Jetty are just chilling. Jetty wants to go in the bakery so bad. What'd you get? Some birthday surprises. You can't know until tomorrow. Ooh. And I got some coconut bread and white bread. I knew from the start. You don't have to be scared, babies. I Watch out for the cats, though. They might not be as nice. What do you think those weigh you? 25 pounds? How much is a gallon of water? Seven or eight? Probably around 40 to 50 pounds We just found the little water faucet here in Governor's Harbor behind a building in the park right over there. And we don't know if it's drinkable. Like they said, like the kids over there said that they drink it all the time when they get thirsty and they don't get a stomach ache or anything, but I don't know, kids the are hardy. Lady at the dive shop said not to. The lady at the dive shop said not to. The lady at the coffee shop was like, eh. We're just gonna use it for showering and stuff like that. We got some fresh water jugs for drinking from the grocery store. So we're gonna have to, our tanks are like empty, empty. So we're gonna have to fill up with RO water somewhere because we don't have a water maker yet. Okay, so the yesterday I got the first spider crab we've ever gotten spear fishing, and today Sierra got another one. And we weren't sure how it was gonna be, but you can eat them. And yesterday we tried it out and we just boiled them real quick and ate them in some seafood paella, which I made last night for dinner and it was amazing and I tasted some of the crab we all did before we put it in there and it tasted so good like really sweet meat like you would get out of I think any other crab at least like Dungeons king, crab or like crab. good crab yeah amazing. it was really good so we're gonna show you how we made it and it's well we're gonna show you how we cook the crab and it's really easy this is the one that Sierra got today He's got two claws, mine only had one. But we got a pot of boiling salt, ooh, watch out, it's gonna be hot. A pot of boiling salt water. And Sierra's gonna put him in the upside down. Yeah, look at that. Nice and gentle. <laughs> yeah, good, yep, there he goes. And we're gonna let him uh, keep it, get it back to a boil and let him boil for 12 minutes. And then we're gonna take him out. And that came out of him, that's gross. Ew. Crab juice. Keep that. We can make some uh, oh, seafood yeah. broth. Shark bait. <laughs> Shark bait. <laughs> We're all just editing pictures and videos and working our butts off so that we can keep this lifestyle going. Yeah. <laughs> So we still have no idea what this place is. It looks like some sort of abandoned hotel or like horse stables or something. Kind of crazy. We'll do some research and do a little voiceover now. I searched for a couple hours online and I could not find any information about this place. I'm pretty sure it's on a bay called Holmes Bay, uh, just to the south of Alabaster Bay. So if any of you guys have any information on this, leave it in the comments below and I'll do some research and I'll pin some more information to the top of the comments for you to check out. Thanks.